There is two types of storage of memory in Roblox currently, which is a database storage and a memory storage. Database storage is permanent storage while memory storage is temporary. So if you don't know what that means, you can think of it like this. You have a dictionary and you can't remember what the word potato means. So you go to the dictionary, open it up and read what's into it. And the next time you need to know what potato means, well, you already know what it means since you, you know, you remembered it. So you can use that and, you know, that is faster, like just going in your brain, like thinking of what potato means is, is faster than actually getting up and going to a dictionary. So, I mean, you can see the pros of that by using that example. Another way you can think of it is for like Roblox and stuff, people join a matchmaking service where you don't really need to keep track of who goes against each other, but you still need to know their player ID so that you can like match them together to the same place to play against each other. So for each server that is created by your game, it all like shares that one memory storage and every player that's playing your game has access to that one big memory storage. So today we'll be going over memory store and Roblox has two, two types of memory store, which is, well, there's a queue memory store and then there's a, there's a key value memory store. And what we will be going over today is, all right, so for a queue memory store, the first item that gets into the memory is the first item out of the memory. And for the, for the key value store, well, this is sorted in ascending order. So, and the key value memory store is uh, ordered by ascending or descending order. So if you want ascending, then one will come first and one will be processed first. But we won't be going over that today since that's another, I don't, I don't, I don't know how long this. So we're going to be over, we're going to be going over the queue memory store data structure here. All right. So to create a memory store, that is a queue. Let's say this is the queue. Okay. How would we create this in Roblox? Well, I will show you guys code on how you would create the, uh, the memory queue. So to create the memory store as a queue, you would write this code. And this code is basically saying, oh, we want to use a memory service, memory store service from Roblox. And we got to give the queue a name. We'll call it queue memory. And it has a timeout. So if the memory store service can't find the queue name for whatever reason, then this will error, error out. And that's how you basically create the queue. So that's creating a queue. Now you might be wondering, Hmm. Well, how would I add to a queue? Well, first you got to make values. Let's make a value of, let's say this is value one and value, actually, let's say value one has a priority of one value two as a priority. So who will be added first if they both have both priorities? Well, it depends on like code if you're reading it from top to bottom. So V1 will be added into this queue first, V2 will be added into the queue second and then v1 will be will be processed first so let's make the values for making uh to add into the queue so to set it up you need the first value like you can name this whatever you want it could be a string it could be an integer a player and it needs an extra expiration date so let's say uh this guy takes 30 seconds the process and this guy takes 40 seconds to process this guy will never get to the front of the queue because this number v2 has to wait for v1 to finish so when the 30 second runs out then this guy will not be in the queue anymore he will be like thrown out and removed into the computer space deleted from memory and then we need a third value which is the priority number basically if we were to have the same priority v1 would go here v2 would come next but if we change the priority of v2 to number two because the higher the number the better or the bigger the priority then v2 will be added here and then v1 will be added here so then if it had like a timeout of 30 and like 
it took 30 seconds to process this and 40 seconds to process this v2 will be good to go and then v1 will be good to go all right so we created the two values that we're gonna put in the queue how you call it is using the uh function from memory storage called add async like that so use memory storage as async and you would do this you and you know add the first value the expiration date and the priority that's how to add values into the queue well we can add to the queue now we just gotta read from the queue so we can actually get those values how we do that is well we need three parameters for the function which is basically the number of items to remove from the queue let's say two all or nothing is going to be false because let's say it's going to try to grab two and if the value two wasn't here it will just grab one the first value in this queue if it was true then it wouldn't grab any value from from the queue since we're waiting on two number of items to remove all right let's put that back and now the timeout is how long the queue will wait to have two items okay so let's say we didn't have this item we're gonna wait for an infinite amount of time this would crash if we added 30 seconds here then it's gonna wait 30 seconds but if the second value gets added into the queue within the time limit like under this 30 second time limit then that means it is good to go we read from the queue if it's a negative one then that's waiting for an infinite amount of time for value two to get or two items to be in the queue so now that we have the parameters set up let's actually call the function here which is we can do read async and we pass in a number of items if all or nothing or the wait timeout parameters that i explained from before and it will return a item table so it's going to return this and this and then it's going to return an id of that table so let's say these both are in a table i'm going to draw something okay so this is a table in roblox this is the item and the id is and the id is something that will need to remove these items that we got from the key from the queue I'll go on that later. Why would we need the ID? So now we'll just print out the values of the queue. And this should honestly, it should work if we test it out. So I'm just getting the position. So we're going to see that the position is one. So it's going to be this one. First, we'll get this value. Second, we'll get this value. That's position one and then value. Okay. So now let's actually test it. So test to test this is you actually have your, you actually need to have your game to be published to the Roblox servers because you'll get this random, you know, error. That would be like, oh, you need a universe ID. And that is because you didn't upload your universe or game into the Roblox servers. So let's do that. There you go. All right, so we'll just rename this to uh, memory queue test, I guess. And then let's save it. Now it's uploaded to the Roblox servers. And now we can test it out. You'll see in our output is we have one and then the value number one, two, value number two. Cool. That's very cool. So if we add second priority, change this, this will be value number two will come out first. And the value number one will come out second there you go value number two value number two is first in line in the queue value number one is second in line in the queue because our priorities so we can read from the queue but how do we actually remove the values from this queue because these queue, these items are still in memory they haven't been processed and we already processed them in here we just now need to remove them to take it out so these other items that come before it can go into the front of the queue. So we do that by doing this. Remove async, which takes an, an ID that we got from this table or the read async. And that's how you remove an item for a queue. Okay, so we removed the values from the queue. Now we can just, you know, print out the values. We can do that by just reading from the queue again. All right. And then we got to actually put a timeout so that we can see... It's going to time out of the three seconds because we didn't add. We're not adding to this anymore. We don't want to wait infinity time. We just want to see that there's nothing in the queue. So here you go. Let's run it. One to it. Removed it. Now nil. 
and this comes from here line 41 all right guys thanks for watching the video and if you guys want me to do sorted maps in the next video or you know later in the future and if you guys want me to do that then uh, you know drop the likes maybe 50 and then i'll i'll uh drop that video but yeah hope you guys enjoyed that episode <laughs> goodbye